Hello and welcome to another episode of the Magic Arena Run. We're down to two decks left from the original um, ten that that were released with the bit with one of the it bit beta iterations, and we're going to do the one that um I have m more cards for. I still have haven't figured out what to do with the with with the green white cat deck, but um here's the Demir manipulation deck. So it's straight up blue black control, and there are many things that um that we can take note of this deck because this deck's actually one of the few that are in the current meta, meta although much much more powerful so let's take a look at some um the things that we've um some of the things that we've done okay so for so let's take a look at our deck list we've made a few changes since then originally originally if i i've had the um, number of um, a lot more ops. I think I've added syncopates a little bit also. In hindsight, I think I could add a few more of these to the. Yeah, I added two more to the sideboard. The murder here. I actually have another copy of um Vraska's contempt. I could just add. You you could just substitute it with that. But anyway, some a few cards to fill up the curve. I think the opt is probably the more. <clears throat> more disposable one you can replace it with um something better i'm just leaving it here because at the very least it um helps out with our mulligans a bit have a single copy of barrel while he's still while he's still in standard we do have a fair no amount of count counter spells a few copies of blink of an eye we have the other two in the sideboard if you have search for ascanta definitely put it in i actually had that in the deck i had a few copies of treasure map but what i didn't have w is some um, automatic compass this deck is actually very mana heavy so this one is a two drop actually very useful sure you have a lot of things to do a turn three but in the event that you don't you can just basically fill up also this is a very good way to protect yourself once you do hit your seven lands so we also have um usual copies of champions of wits you definitely want to drop this um start filtering through your cards i originally had three copies of supreme will but I balance it out with this allow. So two and two. If for some reason you don't have the disallow, yeah, Supreme Will is not not too shabby. It's actually much better in my opinion. I didn't want to spend too many. Um, I did not want to spend too many uncommon wild cards. Although I do have a fair number. Um, I originally had cast downs. I just replaced them straight up with murder. No reason not to have murder there. If you can hear a baby crying, that's um. That's that's um someone watching Facebook in the background. Let's see. Got um ravenous chupacabras. Originally there were three of them. I dropped this down to two because you don't want to see this too early in the control matchup. Also, even in the aggro matchup, four man four mana for two, two just to destroy something might be a bit late. You kind of want murder instead, but. So what happened was I dropped the Raven's Chupacabra to two. There's a copy of Noxious Gear Hulk. This is something you'd want better in the control matchups. Also a bit beefier. You could go either way. If you don't have the Noxious Gear Hulk, definitely you could go three copies of Chupacabra. A concession I made also was I added two copies of Hostage Taker. <clears throat> there were a fair number of um vehicle decks, so being able to being able to take the vehicle and just replay it on your turn is actually quite great. Especially since the really good vehicles are also the really cheap ones. Heart of Kiran costs 2 mana. Aether Sphere Harvester costs 3 mana. Not too bad. So being able to take those is okay. Exile another creature. Even if it's just exiling it for a while, it's not too, it's not too bad either. Hieroglyphic Illuminations basically... Um, Kind of like a modal opt without the scry. Uh, again, I mentioned Vraska's Contempt. Two copies. A bunch of um, Planeswalkers to hit. Actually, because of this and because of some of the other cards in my sideboard, I've dropped the Sorcerer's Spyglass. Although, no reason. No if you can put it if you want. Single copy of Scarab God. I'm sh I know the real decks have like four of them three or four of them because um, you do buy back a lot of decent creatures. I'm just leaving it at one copy. This is a mythic after all. 
Torrential Gear Hulk also mythic. I'm only putting three of them because they were given with the g given as part of Arena. This is probably even more, this is probably more valuable even than Scarab God though. Although that is a bit debatable. Noxious Gear Hulk, I mentioned this one already. Tetsumok was a carryover from the original Demir Manipulation deck. So I let so I left it in here. Nezahal. This one was not, but sometimes you do want this guy on the control matchup, although not so great on its own, but if your opponent's like on pure contr control, barely any creatures, this one's perfect. Perfect as it is. If you could get four copies of Drawn Catacomb, this would be the deck. Otherwise, a mix of Drawn Catacomb and Fetid Pulse is okay. I upped the number of um, Arch of Rasgas up to two. Kept the Evolving Wilds because you don't really... You don't have much to do in turn one. And even much later, it's okay too. We do have a lot of effects that... We have a lot of scry effects. Dump, it'll dump cards to the bottom. You might want kind of want them again. Evolving Wilds can, gives us that reshuffle effect. Single copy of Field of Ruins to carry over. Our sideboard, yeah, more Murder, more Blink of an Eye, more Syncopate. Four copies of Fatal Push in case we run into su uh, super fast aggro. Kite Seal Freebooter um, helps us in the control matchup. Eldest Reborn also kind of, kind of helps us in the control matchup as well. And there are many other ways we could um, adjust this sideboard. I'm there are many other possibilities I could think of. We're in blue black, so um, a slight pirate or a slight treasure build would be okay. There's um, there's Tezzeret, could also be okay, but we didn't have that many artifacts. Only only three overall. Sure, maybe we'd have more if we actually if we actually flip this. And if you do happen to have him, it's quite a good fit. Also, if you have Karn, definitely a good fit here. So that's that's it for our Demir Manipulation deck version 2.5. We're going to take this out to competitive constructed. Now, considering how long the how long games are, we're probably going to hit one. We're probably going to hit one hour anyway, regardless of how things go. Well, we'll see. So let's pay the Piper. Throw in Demir Dip Manipulation. We'll see how well or how poorly we do. So this is gonna, this might end up being a um a two-parter. We'll we'll see how things go. Definitely, it's been quite a, it's been a while since I last did a um, major competitive. Co Actually, not quite. I did spend a lot on Brazen Coalition. At least the games there went fast. So right now, it's okay. We're so we're waiting for opponent to decide on his hand. We got a hand of our own. Turn one, submerge boneyard. Turn two, submerge boneyard. We can tr tr we can cycle, or we can just play one of these cards and play Tomatic Compass. Turn three, champion of wits. We will keep this, although this is a very slow hand. We have no action, so. Well, we have action, but we have no reaction. This is the case where react, where being able to react is just as important. So, we're gonna play our poor man's fetid pools. This might be a mirror matchup. So this, this is gonna be interesting. Could we hold our own against a deck that runs way more mythics? One thing that other deck does r run is a lot of. How do you say this? They. They also run a bunch of the Glint Sleeve, sleeve Siphoners, the the black 2 drop for 2-1 with Menace. Okay, so I'm going to end the turn here. So if our opponent is hoping to counter something... Actually, usually if they run a counter, it's probably Essence Scatter. Our opponent might actually drop a Glint Sleeve Siphoner now. He already has the 2 energy. Yep, there you go. He's gonna start drawing cards. We're gonna start drawing cards, sort of. Okay, so he drops a Glint Sleeve Siphoner. We're going to drop 
Hmm. I don't think we're gonna be able to hostage take her that. We're gonna drop a champion of wits. We might actually we might even toss our second champion of wits. So Definitely gonna activate its ability. Throwing champ you know, it's not so bad since we know we have a four drop we can do use okay so definitely want to drop hmm, I don't seem have any having any basic utility lands I'm gonna drop the field of ruin actually no let's drop the swamp for sure drop the okay gonna drop the swamp drop the Drop the island, cause we can draw. Cause we can draw into this. Depending on what our what what our mana our opponent has, we can. E we might even be able to play Field of Ruin, take out Fetid Pools. Probably a bit unrealistic, but there it is. Opponent Magma Spray. So, aren't we glad we didn't throw throw our second Champion of Wits? So, so our opponent is playing a uh, Grixis build, blue, black, and red. So, Field of Ruin is actually going to be really good here. I might actually even do do that right now. So, uh, it also depends. If our opponent drops something else, that's actually perfect. We can take out Fetid Pools right off the bat. Then... A bunch of our opponents' drops cards might get stranded as a result. So I'm not gonna. He could have the disallow, which would be, which would be annoying. Okay, he's gonna float mana. So we're gonna get ourselves. Yeah, we're gonna get ourselves a swamp. So we're gonna go into combat. We're gonna force him to use that mana right now. Probably has glimmer of genius. That's perfect. So he has to use it right off the bat. He will draw another card. We can't no 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 way around it for us. And go combat attack. Nope, we're not ending the turn. Tomatic compass. So at least this this might slow down our opponent, or at least especially if our opponent starts trying to dump mana. We have to consider. First thing we're probably gonna do is use Ravenous Chupacabra. Hopefully we can draw into another land. Maybe discarding these lands must not such a great idea after all. So opponent. Whirler Virtuoso. Okay, so he drained out all his mana. So Well, at least he's tapped out. I can host hostage taker Whir Whirler. Okay, so if I hostage take a whirler, he will b he'll just generate even more energy the moment he kills it. So I'm going to just I'm gonna just kill it myself. Still not able to answer Glint Sleep Siphoner yet. But this is a weird case where we actually want him to draw cards because his energy is going to two places. It's going to card drawing, it's going to it's going to card drawing, it's going to mana fixing. He just spent most of it to create the top there. So opponent is still stuck at three mana. We're gonna t we're still gonna be taking hits though. Opponent actually discarded, yeah. 
I guess he I guess he got a bit mana screwed here, so we're gonna try to take advantage of that. So let's see what we could do. Hieroglyphic okay, another Verler virtuoso. So his mana is ticking up and up. Okay. So we have options here. I can play champion of wits. That Okay, I'm gonna have to be very careful later. Um, my antivirus is telling me to restart. Okay. There's another option. I'm gonna just drop hostage taker and take Okay. I'm gonna take the Glint Sleeve Siphoner hostage. If I could cast it next turn, sure. Although, so there's that. No, no reason to swing, swing in. So we're trying to see if we've managed to get control of the game or not. Pawn is definitely gonna. Oh, okay. He's now saving up the energy because he kind of needs it. So next turn, I. He's probably going to try to remove Hostage Taker at this point. It's okay. It's kind of buying us a turn of sorts. Okay. Yeah, he's going to cast Harness Lightning, I assume. There you go. At least it doesn't really net him energy. So, get it back. We're playing the we're playing the energy game right now. So Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I could just let the Chupacabra die. Hopefully draw ne another land next turn for Scarab God. Actually I'm not too scared right now. I'm just gonna take the damage for now. Still not drawing into what we need, so Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna activate search for lands now. This is that that is what we made it for. We're gonna dump both opt and hieroglyphic illumination. So we can play our land. Okay, gonna, gonna end the turn right here. So at this point we're probably gonna block we're gonna throw it. Ravenous away to Whirler. Hopefully we can set up ourselves up to another land. So we will be able to set up Torrential into Hieroglyphic. Pwn is actually doing very well. He's drawn quite a lot of cards for for being ma for being mana shy. He probably has a land at this point. Okay, it's tapped, so. He's not color screwed so far. So he's got hmm, that's interesting score. Okay, so our opponent is deciding how he's gonna attack and crack a crack in. It also so it looks like our opponent has a very reactive deck also, so okay, he gets his energy. In the block through the virtual so so okay okay gonna cast opt let's see what we can set ourselves up for so basically we're digging for land so any non land is going to go to the bottom we need land number six Okay, yuck, it's... it's... Not, I'm gonna take it anyway. So we're gonna take that land. Then I'm going to cycle. Please give me a land that doesn't... That is not tapped. Okay, not... Well, that's actually not bad either. I can play Fetid... That's not too bad. Not, not too shabby. I can use it to nuke... 
glints. I'm probably gonna nuke glints leave this time. Ooh, I think we made him discard that. So we're gonna play our land. So. Yeah, I have to go for it. It sucks I can't syncopate. But at least it. Okay. So I'm gonna throw that away. So we're gonna go down to six next turn. So probably means our okay. If our opponent decides to sp yep, he's spending all his energy. So he's gonna try to take us out in the air. We're gonna have to try to catch up on the ground. We don't have much in the way of life gain. Okay, he's Yeah, we can't counter that. That's a problem. We can torrential gear hulk. We don't have a merge we don't have a kill spell. So let's discard. Okay. Let's discard syncopate. So we're probably gonna lose the game at this point, but we, but we know we're gonna lose this game for sure. We, if we had drawn a few other lands, that would have been perfect. But now we're gonna see. Search of Ascanta's not gonna do it. Okay, it's gonna cost me all my mana to play Torrential. Scarab's not gonna do it either. So I do. So I want more spell-based removal. Yeah, I'm good. I'm not gonna show him anything else. I'm gonna I'm gonna concede and let's move on to the next game. So we're so our opponent is mid range, so we're gonna trim some of our heavier stuff. So Ravenous Chupacabras, okay. Torrential Gear Hulk, we're gonna go down. We want kite sail freebooters early. Kinda want blinks also. And we're going f Actually, syncopate's not too bad since we're going first now. I'll actually drop the disallows. He has a bunch of cheap creatures, so fatal push will will do it. So, let me so one more card. I could side in another fatal push. Okay, hostage taker is gonna go. Actually, a lot of his guys are creature based, so hostage taker could could stay. Nezahal and Tetsumok are gonna go. I'm gonna put an Eldest Reborn because he also has very juicy creatures. So I'm gonna keep the Murders, the Supreme Wills, the Champion of Wits. Tomatic Compass did okay. We just kind kind of needed more mana. Keep the Blinks. In fact, I might actually just up. Okay, first we drop the ops. As I said, that's the disposable one. Fatal push, another blink. Okay, one more card. I do have another murder. I'm just gonna throw in the kite seal freebooter. In fact, I'll drop in two. There. I'm gonna put in two kite self rebooters because we do have targets and our opponent d does have topters. So he's kinda all in on the energy plan. Well, not quite. So we got a turn one into a turn two play. I'm gonna keep this one because we can hopefully draw into lands with the with these two. So we need to get at least four four lands to be somewhat on the board. So, my turn two is basically throwing these two away. Well, not quite. Okay, I'm actually gonna grab black because I do have a double black spell. 
and the turn point so okay combat attack possible our opponent might have dr dropped this earlier package okay so we have turn three champion of wits probably gonna eat the counter spell but I'm gonna go for it anyway it's not oh it didn't Okay, so let's take a look at what we can drop. Okay, four. Okay. So we want to keep Arch. I can drop. Hmm. This is interesting. I can actually throw Scarab God away because I can Eldest Reborn it. Okay, so I'm going to throw Swamp and Scarab God. What madness is this? Well, first things first, our opponent's gonna hit this guy with a harness lightning. So we're gonna be using Eldest Reborn to buy back our... So he is playing around. So are we... I can actually choose to do nothing and just draw cards later. Yeah, let's... Okay, combat, attack, and turn. So it's two people playing the do-nothing game. Nickel Bolas, so I will throw away Kite Seal Freebooter. Actually, I'm going to cast Hieroglyphic Illumination Response. I might have something better to throw. Okay. So I'll throw away the Evolving Wilds. Okay, so, actually perfect time, Eldest Reborn, target opponent sacrifices Nickel Bolas, kinda ironic considering it is Nickel Bolas getting reborn. So if he tries to cast another one, I am going to discard Kitesil Freebooter. So, each opponent discards a card. So I'm going to drop Ravenous Chupacabra. So next turn, I'm going to borrow one of his... I'm going to borrow Nickel Bolas. I can also so Torrential Gear Hulk for Hieroglyphic Illumination. Okay, he's glimmering, Glimmer of Genius, so he does... He's probably looking for a, he might have a bounce spell which would be annoying well it's not too annoying per se his only way to deal with eldest reborn was countering it okay so he's got some good stuff I'm gonna probably play a land and he's gonna play something So, I can do. I'm gonna actually use my own graveyard, get Scarab God first. So, I'm gonna go into combat. I'm gonna start swinging. Because there's no hurry for me to drop my own guy. I can always um, use Scarab God in response to buy back his Nickel Bolas, I assume. Okay, he's gonna cycle Fetid Pulls. He is looking for something. I'll let him cycle that. So, and turn. So we have options here at least. And try to find a way to remove Scarab God, so we have to. Be if he spends this card and another card to. Okay, Draska's Contempt. So I'm going to. Exile. 
get nickel bolas. So he's gonna be down the card. So at least, at least we're gonna try to win the, the race on that end. Shame I didn't have a counter spell. That torrential gear hook would have been a perfect play. So he's down harness lightning. Probably means he has another one. Well, which is not too bad. Okay, so. Gonna go into combat, attack, send the whole team. I can use Torrential Gear Hulk into a hieroglyphic, so I'm not in a rush to cast Champion of Wits just yet. Swing with everyone. So our opponent is the one who is. So our opponent is the one who's in the who has to respond. He's gonna try to remove that. So he's down to one spell. Okay, we'll let him spend it. So not bad response, but he is down to down on cards. So I'm gonna gonna make sure to cast that. Yeah, the interface could have been could be better. So he's probably gonna negate that so I don't get to I don't get my cards but he is broke so I'm and I can syncopate the next thing so he is forced to answer let's leave siphoner yeah sure just solve that He doesn't need to know I have Ra I don't think I've ever cast Varaska's Contempt, so he doesn't need to know that. He doesn't also need to see the Fatal Push also, so... I'm just going to... Yep. I'm just gonna swing in. So... He still kept the Siphoners. So I might actually want them... I'm. So I might actually want them mo more rad rather than... Murders. I'll just drop it down to one copy of Murder. Syncopates. I I am on the play, so this might be better served as disallows. Keeping the three copies of Blink. So he now knows he has to deal with this. He now knows I have Kite Self Rebooter. I do need the Compass. I do need the Treasure Maps. Basically, I, I need turn two plays. I can drop one hostage taker in favor of another kite self rebooter, I suppose. Yeah, we'll go with that one. So maybe my initial list of three torrential gear halts was a bit overkill. I know people I know some people played the full place of the four. Let's see, how much time have we spent on this game? Oh, quite a bit, so I might have enough time for this and one more game. So, okay, not too bad. Turn one, our play will be determined by what he plays, but most likely we'll play the island first. Then turn tail, kite self reboot, are gonna start stripping his hand. Although, the, tr the color combination he's doing has removal, so it's not too bad actually. Making him spend removal. So, in this case, I'm actually gonna play swamp first. I'm hoping for turn two, glint sleeve siphoner. Not quite. Okay, so hopes dashed. Gonna play Kite Self Rebooter first. Get the peek in his hand. Or eat the counter spell. Should I peek his hand? See what he has. He's got nothing. 
Okay, so... So that was a big whiff. And now he has something. But we know he won't have action until turn 4. So Fatal Push might... So Fatal Push might do it. Okay, there's a Whirler Virtuoso. So... That's not... Drawn Catacomb. Okay. I'm gonna play the search for Ascanta first. If he tries to attack with Whirler, I'm gonna trade with Kite Sail. He plays Nickel Bolas. I discard the card, probably Compass. Then I Fatal Push it. So I only have one more real threat to worry about. So next turn he's gonna play his Aether Hub or Drawn Catacomb. Okay, Aether Hub. So if he doesn't give me an opportunity to fatal okay. Resolve. I might just drop the compass. Okay, let's drop the compass. I think the land drop's more important. Come on, swing. He's gonna. There's no reason for him not to swing unless he's. Unless he suspects a trick. Okay. This is where me not showing fatal push earlier pays off. So damage. My turn. Okay. Hey, Nickel Bolas, you have exactly four converted mana cost. So we got out so we got so we got out of that loop. So let's see. We kinda need to draw into our treads. We know our opponent has five, probably a six land already, so think fully yeah. Uh yeah, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep that because I need to draw that. So I'm gonna play this guy. I'm gonna play Champion of Wits. That that actually helps us fill this up, and we can hieroglyphic to fill it up even more. Cut. We're gonna basically turn Search into a, our next land. So. I don't want to throw Torrential Gear Hulk. I have options. This might just kill me. Okay, this is. Hard. I'm not surprising anyone. I could have actually just thrown the Hieroglyphic. Okay, well we do have we, we do have an out in Blink, so at least we're not we're not that dead on the board yet. Opponent doesn't have have any have any spell to show for yet. I'm expecting Harness Lighting at any point now. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna trade with Whirler just yet. I'm gonna send send the champion in. Probably trade with a token that or not. I could just blink the token. Let's see what our opponent does. We're basically rushing to hit Okay. Look at the top card. If it's a land I'm going to take it. Uh, Baral. I can actually take Baral also. Sure. He he is a he is a blocker. And he does make my blink a little cheaper, uh, for what it's worth. So I'm assuming our opponent is not heavy on the counter spell plan. So I'm gonna go in combat. Next, so probably dro drop dumping both lands might have been a mistake. Opponent's approaching six mana quite soon, so let's see. Makes a token. We'll let that resolve. Token. Token goes poof.
okay well that's actually okay too so he's gonna block we are we're gonna get our threshold so we're gonna get land number five hopefully search shows us land number six on top opponents does our opponent have any okay he's just gonna cycle through so he's also looking for gas also he has a he has a torrential gear hulk with no targets we have a torrential gear hulk with well i wouldn't exactly call fatal push a removal spell scarab god okay so we do okay blink okay i'm actually gonna just keep it up here i'm gonna actually just keep it up transform i'm gonna actually just blink this back to his hand Give me a land. No, we, it's not gonna be a land. Why? Because I. So, but this could be a land. So. So he got our own scarab god. No attacks. So opponent. So it's gonna be a battle of scarab gods. we hit 6 land, I can just bounce it again. Just to be annoying. Okay, Glimmer of Genius. He's not buying it. In fact, he, he might just try to go for a top tier plan. Goes for top tiers. I can only... So he doesn't like the 2 on his bottom. I'm not I'm not big fan of um word I'm not big fan of Glimmer of Genius main deck. It's though if he is hurting for ma man I'm not lands I'm not surprised. There's a good target. So we got Eldest Reborn. Opponent does have a nickel bolas in the graveyard. So I can play my own Scarab God first actually. He does have the mana for a Harness Lightning, but that's not going to do him much good. So, okay, first to stick a, first to stick a Scarab God. We'll see what happens. He's going to start drawing cards now. We're still stranded in mana. I really, six is definitely better than five at this point. Opponent's going to probably spend for a removal spell. Harness Lightning will kill Scarab God, sort of. He does have the Vras mana for Vraska's Contempt. Okay, Nicol Bolas. Hey, you know what? Thank you. Thank you, good sir. I've been having a hard time trying to cast that. So, okay, no zombies just yet. So if I need more cards, I can buy back Champion of Wits. I might just actually buy back Torrential Gear Hulk, take out Glint Sleeve with... F so draw. Okay, well we did get our 6th land. So I'm going to do something really... S I'm going to send Baral in. Let's see, if he, let's see if he bites. Let's see if he bites. Well, he might have a negate. He's probably wondering what, what, is, what is this attack for? So I'm gonna let Baral die. So I'm gonna buy back Torrential Gear Hulk, which will buy back Fatal Push. He needs this allow to. No, he's gonna have to go for the negate. So Fatal Push. 
yeah, I, re I really am not happy with the interface on that one. But I am very happy with taking out Nickel Bolas. So, he did have the negate figures. That's okay. Next turn, we can buy back Champion. We can actually just take his Nickel Bolas instead. So he's gonna hit us for four in the air. He actually has the mana now for Torrential Gear Hulk, so that's gonna put a damper on our plants. Can't attack just yet. If he drops his own Scarab God, that's also a problem. Eldest Reborn's not gonna cut it. If we hit one more land. So at least we're so at least we're draining our opponents slowly, but we need to find a way to block this one faster. If you send the virtuoso in, uh, no. Yeah, if, yeah, I fig you figured that out. So so I wish there's a way to gain life. Okay, I will take that because that is a land. No, actually not. So I'm gonna draw. Okay. Kinda perfect. So. If I swing with these guys, it's only gonna get hit by Torrential Gear Hulk, so that's a no. Actually gonna buy I'm actually gonna buy Kite Cell Freebooter first. Let's see if we can strip his hand a little bit. And it's a 4 4, so it might trade. The problem is he probably will just Okay, so I'm gonna s So he has another Torrential Gear Hulk, he has another Scarab God. It's probably... Oh no, he already had. Okay, so... Frankly, he should be flipping this right... Any... Right about now. Okay. There's the predicted gear hulk. He's gonna buy... At least he only buys back Glimmer of Genius. So this is a bit of a long game. We're not out of the woods just yet. We're basically trying to catch up with Scarab God triggers. It's only a matter of time before our opponent casts, wises up, casts his own Scarab God, or or flips Nickel Bolas. It's just surprised he hasn't done it yet. He's gonna play it. Draw. I think he's afraid of going shields down. He doesn't exactly know what I have. I'm somewhat envious of with this um, all rare land setup though. Okay, okay so that ends that. So I'm definitely gonna. So I'm gonna go down to seven. Yeah, I'm gonna have to trade with Nickel Bolas before he decides to. F before he decides to flip. The problem is he has Scarab God next turn. So my only plan now is to hopefully Eldest Reborn my way out of this. Not easy. 
Magnus Spray. Okay, so he is not casting Scarab God with that mana. He will cast Glimmer of Genius. So, okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I'm just going to cast Eldest Reborn now. If he has a counter spell, it's over for me. But basically, this buys me one turn. And it's not an enviable position because he still has Scarab God and all that. Well, suffice to say, my deck is... At least I was able to get one, one win out of it, but my deck is not quite tuned against a um, more rare heavy deck. But it's a promising start. You... You will get good match you will get some decent matchups and we're able to even get the win. Okay, I opponent used a timeout. Possible possibly just AFK or could be an could be another gl glitch of some sort. In hindsight, it's I, I probably should have cast this earlier. I would have been... Cast that earlier. Actually, there are a lot of decisions I could have redone. Like, I probably should have bought his Nickel Bolas first instead of my... I don't know. The reason I, I should have just bought his Nickel Bolas first. Instead of trying to be cute with Fatal Push. Okay, something really weird happened here. I hope he's all right on the other on the other side of the world or wherever he is. So as we're waiting for the timer to run down, if our opponent has a counter spell, we know it's over. In the event it's not over, he'll just sacrifice Glint Sleeve Siphoner. I will go down to 2 mana. My next play probably should be Champion of Wits. Try to draw my way out. Try to draw my way out of things. Have another blocker, but if That seemed a bit automatic. That seemed very automatic considering I didn't see our point uh, it's possible our opponent hit the end turn. But I think something really bad happened here. Okay, he's back. He's gonna cast his own Glimmer of Genius. I wonder what is what is the metric of what what is the metric of the game choosing which one to sacrifice? So we know our opponent's going to discard a card, but that's not going to mean much. Thankfully, Harness Lightning only hits creatures, so does Magma Spree. I think his choices were dict um, our opponent's choices are dictated on the fact that he his creatures are going to be able to do it, and they better, considering considering the, the, the abilities they have and whatnot. Somehow, I think our only way of survive. Okay, I own our only way of surviving this is drawing into Noxi Noxious Gear Hulk. That's not it. So opponent discards a card. Opponent's even able to buy one back. So we can. S so I'm gonna. Sup so I'm going to Supreme Will. Look at the top four cards. This allows. Not gonna take it. Hostage Taker will do it. For one turn at least. Even then he can just buy back in response. Yeah. So he's gonna spend the mana to buy back. It's pretty much good game from this. Oh. So he should spend his ma mana in response right now. There you go. And what's he gonna get? My nickel bolt. Oh, he, he got my champion of wits instead. I suppose that's a fair play. If he got nickel bolas, that was an auto win. So 
No, not in quite a rush just yet. So, yeah, that's pretty much good game. I'm going to chump for honor. Well, not quite. Yeah, I'm going to... I'm gonna jump for honor. But that's about it. So first so our first game didn't do quite well. We've got time for a second game. It'll be really sad I'll be really sad if that's the end of it. But I do I have some faith in this deck that's not gonna be the end. So I'm gonna figure hmm. That was a lot of damage dealt though. So I'm gonna try <clears throat> gonna try again hopefully we I would like to s see a different matchup see if I'm at least be able to test the sideboard plan well, if our opponent's profile is any indication that might be the case so opponent goes first we go next we are definitely not keeping this even if we have two card draws it's a bit of a stretch to ask for a lot for multiple lands. We need to get some removal and whatnot. Also, this is all black heavy, so I'm gonna mulligan this. This is better. At least we got syncopate. We can evolving wilds our way out of this a bit. So I'm gonna keep this one. Champion of Wits, yes, we do need a creature. So evolve At least we draw the creature. And it looks like a control deck. It's not. So next turn, hopefully we. Okay, search for Escanta. Okay, drew a submerged boneyard. I might as well play that because it comes into play tap no matter what I do. Same with fetid pools, but at least I have the option to cycle. So our opponent's gonna build up his mana. We're not gonna have much of a way to catch up. I'm gonna play f evolving welts again. Sacrifice. Let's see if our opponent decides to disallow that. Mo that would be such a monstrous play. Well, thankfully our opponent's not that bad. Now let's give him something to counter. Hmm. So now we're in a position where we have to start holding up our mana. So I'm actually gonna... So I'm actually going to just end it right here. If our opponent tries to go for a card draw spell, hmm, do I syncopate that or syncopate something better? I'll let that resolve. I'll syncopate something better. We'll also have the mana to... Tri we will also have the mana to treasure map on the assumption our opponent plays something like a Teferi, I suppose. This on the assumption our opponent is... Okay, opponent's not that kind of player. Well, neither are we. Just got our own search for a Skanta. We kind of need to land more. So, put that in the bottom. Okay, that kind of hurts us a bit. Yeah, we'll keep that on top. I could champion of wits. I could champion of wits just to draw into that, but no, I'm gonna end the turn there. Hindsight, I probably should have set 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 the trigger to stop stop if I was gonna do that anyway. That's maybe wishful thinking in my part to draw a torrent to draw another land. Opponent's gonna try to bounce it, I suppose. Well, this is basically my third land. So this no, this is basically one mana away from becoming a land, so I'm gonna have to try to protect this at all costs. Opponent's not six mana. Still hasn't done anything.
Wait, he's gonna do something now. He's gonna blink it. I can syncopate it for two. That's no good. It's annoying. You know what? Let's let it happen. So I get... <clears throat> so what happens now is I play Drowned Catacombs. I play... I now play Champion of Wits. With Syncopate back up. So I need to get some land. So I'm probably going to throw the treasure map. Oh, okay, no. Not happening. So I'm going to play... So I'm going to dump Champion of Wits and... Champion of Wits. So do I play the treasure map now? He knows I have it in hand. Yeah, let's just play the treasure map. So now we're basically trying to defend against an approach from the second sun. Or Teferi. A Teferi we can... We're probably just going to use Champion to beat on Teferi for a while. At least we got the Disallow. Enough. So he's at 4 mana. Okay, you can end the turn there. He's trying to s he's trying to sculpt uh, approach with m approach with s some protection. Draw a card. Okay, we solve. No time for a break. Five, six, seven. Seal away. Hmm. So I have mana for this allow. Or syncopate for two depends. Is he gonna try to cast out? Or another seal away? If it's another seal away, I'll let it pass. If it's cast out, I will try to syncopate. He's thinking about this because he needs to protect the fairy if he's gonna eat, go for approach. Okay. I think he's going for it. If he goes for the if he goes for disallow, okay, he's gone for disallow. Do I disallow? Yes, I go. Yes, I'm gonna go for the disallow on his. I'm gonna go for the disallow on his seal away. So I'm gonna see if he tries to counter it. So what happens is he actually counters my blink, so my creature stays. <laughs> He might still have another seal away though, but that would be okay. So there are there are a few ways you can ar arrange. That's probably it's about visualizing the stack in a sense. So got our six mana, so we do So we're still gonna have to hit the fairy. So that's in so that's it for now. Let's see what our opponent tries to do. He's, def he's definitely gonna flip that. I can't do anything about it. I could actually, but it's not worth it. I keep up the pace. So he's gonna go for approach, I think. No, seal away again. Okay, I'm gonna spend man. 
I'm gonna cast Torrential Gear Hulk. It's gonna get countered, but that's okay, because I can just drop Tetsimok next. He might actually just opt to counter what I draw and what I try to play instead. Nope, he's gonna syncopate. So he's So we're somehow we're gonna try to outmana our opponent. That's not gonna happen quite easily. Okay, just give I'm just gonna drop him right then and there. Because our opponent has to kill. So at, at least we're basically trading off our resources once to one. We do know that our opponent probably doesn't have any creatures outside of Torrential Gear Hulk with this setup. So Murder is going to go. Fatal Push is never going to make it. Kite Tail Freebooters will make it though. So that's our sideboard plan. So there's, there's the Torrential. So he's going to take out one Disallow. So missing land drops was an issue here. You know what? I'm not done yet. So I'm gonna take the five. Okay, he's gonna dig one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Has the mana for pro. She's getting the gate instead. Got arch mana up. So what we can do is just internalize one of our guys. He's gonna have to have another disallow. It's un and he's already used the one from Torrential, so it's gonna have to be in his hand. Well, he's tapping this much mana, so it's. Four mana. Okay, I'm I'm really curious. Okay, he's undoing it. Probably, if it's cast out. Okay, it's not cast out. Spending. What's he spending? Yeah, he has to spend it for this alone. That's pretty much his only option. Fortunately, I'm running out of options too. So this pretty much seals it for us at this point. I might try to wait and see if our opponent actually has a has approach so so I can figure out if I have to worry about that or not. Okay, so it's dig so he's now digging in main phase. Might as well, considering that um, considering you have an untapped trigger waiting. Okay. So, if I play champion, just ca cast out. Well, go. F Let's go for it anyway. So, let's scribe. Well, it's not gonna. Well, I guess I'll scry afterwards. So, kind of need the murder. Could use Baral. Let's. Hmm. Okay. Let's ditch the syncopate and field of ruin. Okay. So the second murder might not do it. It depends how our opponent sets up, ca casts his spells. For one, there's no reason for him not to cast cast out, so we're, he's probably gonna do that. Okay, cast out. And 
Skanta again. He's got to blink. We need to move quickly. Okay. Keys. So we can try murder back to back. I still don't know what our opponent's get end game is. It's definitely gonna cast glimmer of Oh, it's gonna go field of ruin on our Archer for Asuka. Which is perfectly fine. So we're gonna try to. So we're gonna. Tr oh wait, that shuffled our murder away. So let's see. Play one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. Okay. Five man. Okay, let's just play this first. Not like that's gonna do anything. It's probably gonna eat a count. Well, it's not gonna eat negate. It's gonna eat something else though. Okay, so we so we're, he's actually gonna get one of his spells back. He's gonna cast it out in response. Okay, so that. Okay. And yeah, unfortunately, the murder just meets negate. Yeah, that's not gonna do it quite much. So, okay, syncopates on top, but we're never gonna draw that. So we're gonna concede this game right now, and we're gonna proceed to sideboard. So we know our opponents. Has torrential gear hulks a bunch of creatures but not much else so we have, so we're gonna drop Tetsimok, Nezahal we are gonna put Eldest Reborn Hostage Taker is probably a dud here so we're gonna take those out well I can stay again ops are our throwaway so those go we're gonna put in four copies of Kite Sail Freebooter. Do I wanna keep the murders? It is something that we can get with Torrential Gear Hulk. Actually I wanna maybe keep a Nezahal drop torrent drop a copy of Torrential. So we have this uh, so we have disallows and supreme wills and syncopates to protect. Okay, so we kinda want these. I might be. I could just drop a ravenous chupacabra in favor of either probably another murder or this the turret. There, we'll we'll do it like that. So we're hoping to get a hand with some kite still free freebooters up front. So, didn't get that, but we did get Baral, we could s So we'll probably go with that. Another blue mana would be great so for this allow, so, but definitely I'm going to cycle Hieroglyphic first. Probably some more... Probably our sideboard could use more spells that attack the hand. Kite Sail Freebooters do it, but maybe Doomfall would also work. But then again, it probably would have worked better in the previous map in the previous match, but maybe not this one. So we'll end the turn here. So we'll cycle, cycle away. Okay, We've got our second blue mana. Got Fetid Pools, but that's gonna... So I'm gonna actually play Baral first. Then play Fetid... Actually, I might just hold on to Fetid Pools. Search for Escanta, sure. So we, we have our counter spells up, so I'm going to just... Combat, attack... 
So I have a. Uh, so I just need 19 more turns. So we can see. I'm gonna cast Seal Away, which I will. Supreme Will. 19 is I can now so I get a this draw card and discard trigger so I'm gonna do that Let's see keep the disallow probably discard the arch because I have a second one so we're now we're now kind of encounter So, 18 more turns. So, I kept the seal away, knowing that I that I'm a bit more creature centric. That's kind that's kind of how blue black wins, but let's see how it goes. Mana. It's actually a very good hand at this point. So seventeen more turns. So our opponent is probably gonna try to okay, he's not trying to cast out yet. So he's probably going to do nothing for quite a while. So if that's the case, we're basically going to chip our... We might chip our way through. Might. Kind of a bit of an operative word. So he's, if he casts... If he goes for card draw, I'm going to let him draw. Though it's actually a bit risky. Cast out. Okay. I have to syncopate it so that's x equals 2. So take action. Mm, then discard the evolving wilds. So you can end the turn there. So. I will only be able to counter one or if I have to I will I'll probably just blink blink and bounce back. As it is. Okay. Probably gonna eat the counter of its own. Or not, so I'm gonna go in combat. Attack. So at least now we can con we, we can consistently keep our land draws up. So I wonder what our opponent's game plan is. So I'm gonna try to ferry. To ferry into a negate. Gonna let it resolve. Sorry, I'm late. Okay, now I'm gonna blink in response. Return. So he gets he gets a bit of a benefit here. If he tries to negate it, I'm going to I'm going to disallow the negate. So he pro he probably assumed I was gonna straight up counter. And in this case, I'm probably not gonna trigger Boral's ability. I know what they say: you're better off, you're always better lo off looting every time. In this case, he will have mana right. up. So. He 
might go for the cast. Okay. I'm probably not gonna draw. Go for the land draw. Okay, my turn. Okay, so I drew another blink, which is perfect. So this time, what can happen? Okay, so we're gonna end the turn there. So this time, when he tries to cast a fairy again, okay, seal away. One, two, three, four, five. In hindsight, it might be better to have left the disallow first. So he definitely has to counter spell back up. So okay, that's a slight mistake in my part. He definitely has to negate for this. Line side as better. Keep up the pace. We'll see what he does with this one. So combat. So control more. So so I'm probably not gonna die to a single creature like last time, but I am going to probably die to approach. So we'll let that resolve. We need to move quickly. I am short on cards. So that's a problem. He can also just fit. Field of Ruin, this one, which is probably okay. Okay. Let's see if this sticks. Torrential Gear Hulk. Okay. Hmm. I'm going I'm going to disallow it. It's, it's, he might have a negate though, that's a problem. Yeah, he had the negate. So no good. So that is how we lost the counter spell war. I was priced into countering Torrential Gear Hulk. So. No time for a break. Okay, so. Okay, so I. So I was able to chip for quite a bit, but not much. So now I need to actually drop something that can deal with the either of these two. Oh, okay. So we're basically forcing our opponent to cast counter spells at every turn. He doesn't re well, he did counter it. Hmm. Though technically he didn't have to. His best counter spell was basically attacking with Torrential Gear Hulk. Okay, so he's buying back. So he's buying back more equipment. So it seems like um our our deck is not geared up for the control matchup that well. We we need more cards for the control matchup. Before that, I would like to see what cards I would like to 
I, w I want to at least test this deck against an aggro matchup. Let's skip to the good part. He's going to he's going to name champion of wits so that so that so that eliminates that ab so that g that eliminates this out he's still not attacking with torrential gear hulk okay fine so basically any champion of wits okay i'm going to keep that on top though So he's still not attacking, so I'm still not going to defend. I'm, I really wonder what he's... Of course, he could just um, emblem... Okay, he drew a disallow, so... Yeah. With each turn of the clock, your reality will crumble. Well, at least this isn't card draw. This is going to be card draw. So now he's attacking, no blocks. Case. Can this. Okay, torrential gear hulk on top. Okay. Can this excel? Oh, it's target permanent, so he can also excel my lands. So. Are you going to combat? Yeah. Technically, this game is quite lost at this point. I really don't... He already has inevitability from the emblem. I'm just basically stretching this out a bit. I might do one more video of this next... I might do one more video of this. But we'll see. I want to actually... I'm somewhat hoping that this deck actually has an approach. It's not just dependent on doing the really... I wouldn't say the dune. Actually, kinda is. It's really a whole. It's really a whole bunch of sit back and relax. At this point, this I would not. I, I I would not be sad to see a lot of the these cards go. So at least Burrell did quite did his job for quite a bit, but there was a mistake on my part there. That time he tried to seal away. I could have just actually let it through. So, it's pretty much good. I, I don't know what I can do with this one. I'm just going to cast this one and just say good game. I want to see what he has. Yep, disallow. Good game. That's I've seen enough. Well, he's kind enough to say good game too. So, there you go. At least we had we had more of a chance in the first matchup than the second matchup. So blue black is kind of dependent on your opponent having creatures. Well, yeah, our opponent here had creatures, but not but not as many as I would have hoped for. So I'm probably gonna do. So before I do a retrospective here, I'm probably gonna do one more competitive constructed match. I'm gonna be really annoyed if all I see are c control decks here. I wouldn't mind seeing an aggro deck once in a while, but that those are the breaks. Anyway, so that's it for this um, somewhat long episode. If you like what you see, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you, thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you guys again next time. I'm gonna probably do a slight revision, but I can't show you just yet. I still need to think this through. So anyway, I'll show you guys again on the next video. Yes, we will have a revenge match on here. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, have a good night.